Hey guys, welcome back to Care Zone. My name is Grace and it's nice to be with you once again. Over here, the fuel situation is really biting hard and currently I'm on a queue, a very long queue to buy fuel, but I feel I should use this opportunity to talk about the things we usually talk about, things that have to do with life and good health. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. And if you're new, in order not to miss any of my videos, please hit the subscribe button. So today we'll be talking about how to avoid false blood pressure readings. You don't want to take your blood pressure and run into panic because the result you have just gotten is scary. And who knows, that result could be a false result caused by some factor or something you have taken or something you have done or something wrong with your device. These are the things we are talking about today and how we can avoid getting false blood pressure readings every time we check the blood pressure. Take up your pen and paper and do some jotting or better still save this video so that you can watch it over and over again in order not to forget these things. Let's jump into a list of do's and don'ts for checking blood pressure and how we can avoid having false blood pressure readings. And the first thing on my list today is don't check your blood pressure when your bladder is full. A full bladder would apply pressure to the kidneys. The kidneys will in turn apply pressure to the blood vessels and this will in turn affect the blood pressure, making it seem high when actually your blood pressure is not high. So if your bladder is full, ensure that your bladder is empty. Rule number two, your sitting position can affect your blood pressure. So you want to sit down relaxed, quiet, with your feet flat on the ground and your arm up to your chest level, resting on a table up to your chest level. And your legs not crossed but straight and flat on the ground. So your sitting position could give false pre blood pressure reading if you're not sitting relaxed some of your blood vessels could be compressed or constricted by your sitting position and this could result in false blood pressure readings. Rule number three, blood pressure usually peaks or goes higher in the afternoon when people are more active or more stressed. So this is not the best time to check your blood pressure as you may be getting false readings from such checks. So check your blood pressure when you're less active, less stressed, and really relaxed. Rule number four, don't check your blood pressure when you are feeling cold. When you're cold, it is possible for your blood vessels to be narrow or constricted. And this can cause a slight increase in blood pressure. Rule number five, avoid talking when checking your blood pressure. This can add some numbers to the blood pressure and slightly increase it so it's important to be quiet and relaxed when taking blood pressure readings the next on our list is avoid checking your blood pressure just immediately after eating the natural process of food digestion could cause some lowering of blood pressure so it is advisable to check blood pressure early in the morning when you just wake up or you wait at least 30 minutes after a meal before checking the blood pressure. This is especially important because there are certain foods we take that could directly and immediately affect the blood pressure, either by slightly increasing it or slightly lowering it. So it's important to just allow some time, say 30 minutes to one hour, to allow these foods to take their passage through the digestive system before we check blood pressure for example foods like or foods that contain caffeine nicotine alcohol can have direct and immediate effect on the blood pressure and that's why it's necessary for us not to introduce factors that could lead to false or exaggerated blood pressure readings 
stress and anxiety at the time of taking blood pressure um, readings can as well affect blood pressure readings they can cause exaggerations so at the time of blood pressure measurements it is important to free yourself of anxious or stressful thoughts and be relaxed in order to get the correct or accurate blood pressure reading stress and anxiety increases the levels of some hormones in the body such as cortisol which is called the stress hormone when the levels of this hormone is increased it will also in turn increase the blood pressure and if we're taking blood pressure at the time that we are anxious or stressed we are actually getting the wrong blood pressure measurements number nine on our list which is really very important is the measuring device in fact it is more important than any other thing we can we have been talking about because if you're taking your measurement with a device that is faulty then you're not going to get the correct result so your blood pressure measuring device should be in very good working condition if it uses batteries the batteries should not be weak or low also ensure that your measuring cuff the cuff of your device your blood pressure device is your size you will know if it is not your size if it is too small because at the time the inflation is going on you will see the cuff loosening up you also want to ensure that the velcro that sticky thing that holds it in place is functioning well it is tight we don't want it to begin to loosen when the inflation is happening this will lead to false blood pressure measurements it is also important to use or preferably to use arm measurements arm blood pressure monitors not the ones that measure from the wrist the ones from the arm would give better or more accurate results another thing we can do to ensure or to check the proper functioning of our device is to once in a while take your device to the hospital so you can sit with the doctor or the nurse who checks your blood pressure ask them to take your blood pressure with your own device and also take it with their own then you compare the results you are getting if the results are close enough then that means your device is functioning of course you don't expect every device to give exactly the same figures but they, they shouldn't be apart by at least more than 10 points the difference between the two should not be more than 10 points so this can help you you know as a way of calibrating your own device so once in a while take your device to the hospital with you the last thing you need to take note of is that when you take your blood pressure the first time that may not be the most accurate result in order for you to now get it accurately discard that first result take the blood pressure readings two times more and take an average of those last two blood pressure readings you have taken this will give a more accurate picture of your blood pressure so what have we talked about we have talked about the fact that we should take our blood pressure on empty bladder and not on a full bladder not immediately after eating not talking during measurements of blood pressure avoiding anxiety or stress when taking the blood pressure not checking blood pressure when we have just taken certain foods or any meal at all especially those that have direct impact on blood pressure like caffeine nicotine and alcohol not checking blood pressure when we are feeling cold and finally ensuring that our me measuring device is in good working condition if there are any more things you remember that can help to improve or help avoid false blood pressure readings please put them in the comment section below thank you for watching i hope to see you in my next video where we will talk about something else that is important to our health and the quality of our lives till i see you then continue to stay safe and stay healthy i remain grace your pharmacist and health coach bye